Welcome to this short video about propeller light running margin. Recently, we published a market update note about our change of uh, recommendation for light running margin. And um, the old recommendation was 3 to 7%, and we now recommend 4 to 10% light running margin. Uh, this video uh, is intended to give a short summary of the uh, contents of the market update note. Uh, but before we dive into the details, let's uh, discuss what actually light running margin is. If we look at the first part of the term light running margin, then light running uh, means when a ship is sailing in uh, calm weather with a clean hull at a deep open sea uh, and does, no, has, does not do any maneuvering or acceleration. This is also called the trial condition. And uh, the result of sailing in such conditions is the light propeller curve. Now, uh, if we turn to the last part of the word, the margin, then uh, this margin is the RPM margin between the propeller light running curve and the uh, engine layout curve, which is a theoretical propeller curve that passes through the SMCR point of the engine. Now, uh, the reason why this light running margin is very important is actually because we normally don't have the light running condition. We have uh, some degree of fouling of the hull. We have some degree of heavy weather, or at least some kind of weather. We may be on shallow water, and we may also be in ice, for example. So we need the light running margin to compensate for all those conditions that will make the propeller more heavy running. And to illustrate uh, the difference it makes when choosing the light running margin, we can look at the case where we are having um, harbor maneuvers, for example. The ship speed is very low, and we are using the engine to accelerate and position the ship. In such conditions, the um, uh, propeller curve is heavy, and this means that the propeller curve passes the engine load limits uh, in such a way that the power available is not the full engine power, but a somewhat reduced power due to the shape of the load diagram of the engine. If, for example, the uh, ship was designed with a propeller light running margin of 3%, then uh, in such uh, maneuvering conditions inside the harbor at very low ship speed, the available engine power would only be about 40%, as shown on this curve. Uh, if instead we had used 10% uh, light running margin, which is the highest we now recommend, uh, the available engine power would have been about 60%. Now, this change from 40 to 60% is actually very big. In relative terms, it's actually a 50% increase of the available power for maneuvering. Now, also in heavy weather, the propeller will be heavy running, and we will have the same situation. The ship with 10% light running margin will have a much better heavy weather ship speed because it is able to deliver more power. Now, so why do we increase the light running margin now? We do that because uh, there's a general focus on fuel economy, and there's been uh, that for a while. And uh, then there's the introduction of the EDI index. And uh, both of those uh, things generally uh, lead to reduced main engine power being installed in vessels. And this is made possible by accepting a reduction of the ship's top speed, or by optimization of the ship's lines and the propeller or some combination of those two. But the power requirement for safe uh, ship speed in heavy weather and for acceptable vessel acceleration may not decrease by the same amount. And this is actually our service experience, that uh, you need the power needed for safe uh, ship speed in heavy weather and for acceptable acceleration does not decrease by the same amount. So therefore, we recommend increasing the light running margin because this enables the engine to deliver more power in heavy weather and during acceleration. So, in conclusion, we now recommend 4 to 10% light running margin, and this is valid for new waters after the 1st of May 2015. The recommendation is valid for all of our engine types, and the actual trade and hull design of the vessel must be considered when choosing the light running margin. The final choice of light running margin is therefore the ship designer's responsibility. And it must be remembered that a low power engine with the low propeller light running margin may result in insufficient heavy weather ship speed and insufficient vessel acceleration. Thank you for listening to this presentation. And uh, you can find further information about propeller light running margin in our market update note from April.